Hey guys, so I'm in the car and I went over to my sister Jacqueline's house. We'll just kind of like do a quick pan over there. I'm in the car and I'm heading um, back home. It is 10 o'clock and we still don't have power. The city released a statement saying that they're working on it. Uh, power lines went down, um, like actual poles are having to reconstruct things. Um, and they're working, they've been working since it happened. Huge trees, huge old, old oak trees down. I mean, it is a disaster out here. Um, weather did call for another storm coming and they're extending the like extreme warning alert or whatever, you know, the news calls it um, later than what it was. So it looks like it's gonna be another, gonna be a really another long night like I didn't fall asleep I fell asleep for a second then woke back up because just the sounds of like trees crashing next door was making me really nervous for our neighbors um yeah so went over to my sister's house that lives on the um kind of other side who still has power and heat and I charged up all my devices um and downloaded some more movies on like Netflix and Disney plus um so I should be good throughout the night and into tomorrow. I know it sounds like such first world problems of having to like, oh, I need internet and cell phone service, but man, it's really cold and I'm not gonna go outside and it's too dark to read a book. So yes, first world problems here, I'm admitting to it. Um, I know that there's a lot of people off worse and there's homeless people and I mean, our house is pretty cold, but grateful that we still have a roof, yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna drive. I will, um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have to do it long way, so it's not gonna be a super big video, but um, maybe I'll, you'll get a kind of a glimpse of what outside looks like. It might be too dark to really see anything, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna just still record. Um, might be bounced, I don't know what the quality is gonna be like, but um, hopefully I can get a little bit of footage, it's not too dark, so you can have a general idea of like how gross and bad this ice is, I mean, it's taken down some, you know, nice big trees that have been here for hundreds of years. Um, so it's kind of sad, but yeah. And then we're going to go home and get back into bed. My feet are freezing because I stood outside with my car heated up and talked to my sister. You know, typical door talker. I do that with uh, actually videotaping. Our door talk, the videotaping. Like, as so I'm trying to get off, sign off, and be like, okay, thanks for watching my video. Then I extend like another five, ten minutes of me rambling. I do that. Um, but yeah, let's see what the drive is like home. stop sign I'm looking over at my screen it looks like to be a little blurry and not focused it's also pretty dark so I don't know I'm gonna go kind of this back way through a new neighborhood there is a um, hazelnut orchard a filbert orchard wherever you at whatever you want to call it hazelnut filbert same type of nut um, and as I was driving by earlier, it looked like a lot of branches and trees were down in this orchard. It seemed like anyone's coming, so I'll put the brights on and see if you can really see anything. It's kind of hard. There is one branch. You can't really see much. There's another one up here. I just so just like throughout this whole droopiness. Guys, I'm driving, so I gotta put you back down. So yeah, this side of town is uh, has power. It's like the just my side, just lucky enough to get my side no power. It's kind of nerve wracking. Like I'd be nervous about that car parked there. Oh, branches down. You see this? Like that was, that's down. That's in the street down. Like I said, that car was parked right underneath those. No thank you. Oh, they have power. They have power. Or is that lights? Ah, oh, something hit my car. Oh my God, guys, this is creepy. Look at this. Like something hit the side of it. Nope, no power. No power. 
So we're in the neighborhood with no power now. Put my brights on. Look at how much that is drooping. taping but I'm gonna turn the roads onto the highway so I can't film that great but they're still working right here is where the telephone poles went down um, looks like they got the second one up good yay good job Mac water and light um, bad but I got a little lantern you push it in oh my god the fire alarm is going off uh, that's nerve wracking hopefully someone sleeps out there with the fire <laughs> anyway everyone's um, turning in um, settling down it's pretty dark it's really cold I wish we had a thermometer inside to see what the temperature is inside um, I'm cuddled in with all my layers I talked about my layers earlier I did take off my sweater and because I don't like sleeping in baggy things so hopefully I don't get too cold but I noticed a difference from the sweater and no sweater when I took it off so wish us luck guys and um, I'm gonna I downloaded some movies when I was at my sister's house I'm gonna watch a movie fall asleep and hope that the power gets turned back on. But I will update you guys in the morning. Um, I hope you guys are staying warm and safe tonight as well. Good morning, guys. Uh, day two, officially. Still no power. Uh, it was a pretty cold night. Um, but for the most part, I stayed warm with all my... I mean, I got multiple blankets here um so I stayed warm other than like my face and nose um I did wake up to a fire alarm the like smoke of the fireplace I don't know if it was starting going out or something like that um I don't know if smoke he woke me up so I literally just waking up sorry this is crazy Ugh. all right my phone's about to die um Just another quick little update. Still in the dark.